Hello guys, uh, with this video we're going to show you how we can create a Raspberry Pi NAS a network attached storage using an external uh, hard drive it's one terabyte hard drive for that uh, we're going to start doing sudo apt get actually update first of all Mine, I think, is up today, so this is going to be fast. Upgrade after that. But it's always important that we run these uh, two commands before we install anything else. Okay, so uh, we're going to start installing the Samba. Uh, we're going to use that um, in order to connect to the hard drive. So, sudo apt-get install samba and samba common pin starting the program yes and right after the installation is done we're going to edit the samba.config file we're going to we're going to do no to this samba server and utilities no and I keep going keep going well I was saying then after uh, this is done we're going to uh, edit the samba.conf file with the parameters that I will leave on uh, on the description so I'm just gonna copy uh, and paste those parameters after this is done well if it's taking too long I'm gonna pause the video and then come back when it's done okay okay the process is done it didn't take too long okay so uh, like I was saying then we have to edit this file B that conf. Okay, so after we open uh, the file smb.conf, what we have to do is go into the end of the file and we're going to add uh, these lines at the end in order to set up a Samba software. Let's see okay so we have to paste these lines i'm gonna call this is the name that you have to put you can put whatever you like Ras i put raspberry pi nas this is the name uh that we're gonna use to map the drive from no, on my case windows when we try to access to the nas to the external hard drive uh, the path this is where when I plug in my external hard drive on the Raspberry Pi, this is the, f the directory where uh, the external hard drive is mounted. By default, it's media slash media slash pi backslash. And the rest, uh, just by default, you're going to copy this. So after this is Control X, yes, and enter to save. Then we're going to create a password in order to as access to the Samba drive. We execute this command to the Samba password dash a uh, pi asking for the password. We type and we add the user pi with the password that we just create. Then we're going to uh, Restart uh, the Samba uh, service. So that's it. So that will be all on the Raspberry Pi. Just can close it. Then let's say we want to access from the Windows. 
we're going to open uh, the, the Windows Explorer and we're going to map a drive, map network drive drive Z or you can select any other letter default Z and then we're going to use the name of the Pi in my case the name is, well, the uh, default name is Raspberry Pi if you didn't change it you use that in my case it will be Pi WPB and then the name that we create uh, on the smb.conf file was Raspberry Pi NAS and then we do finish okay then we map our drive and here we go we have our external hard drive connected to the Pi Raspberry Pi NAS was mapped on drive Z that way we can access to our external hard drive okay Raspberry Pi NAS Thank you guys, I hope I can help you with this video.